My name is Neil Patori and this is EC5510 and the topic of this video segment is an example of Poisson processes. This is actually an example that we did early in the, earlier in the class where we had a bus arrival and we have a random process X of T, Poisson random process, and the arrival until the first time um, of that bus arriving, for example, is T1 and we've already waited some time little t and we want to know what is the distribution of the additional time that we have to wait and this example says given Poisson process x of t what is the conditional probability of t1 being greater than little t plus delta so plus delta is the additional time that we have to wait given that t1 is greater than little t okay so um, we're trying to find the distribution of this additional time, or the probability of that additional time being greater than t plus delta. Okay, so it's a conditional probability. Let's write it as such. So we've got the probability that t1 is greater than little t plus delta, given that t1 is greater than little t. Okay, so this is a conditional probability. The top I have the intersection of those two probabilities, t1 greater than t plus delta, and intersection t1 greater than t. On the numerator, uh, I'm sorry, on the denominator, I have the probability that of uh, what we're conditioning on, t1 greater than t. Okay, well, in the numerator, if I have these two sets that are happening because I have the intersection, if this one happens, t1 greater than t plus delta, oh, I forgot to mention that delta is greater than zero, of course t is greater than zero as well, since t plus delta is greater than t, if this one happens, this one also must happen, so I don't really even need to write this one. I'm just going to write it as the probability that t1 is greater than t plus delta. Divide that by the probability that t1 is greater than little t. Okay, so I have these two probabilities. What do I need to do here? Well, let's find the probability that t1 is greater than some dummy variable, little t. Okay, this is the probability that I have no arrivals in between time 0 and time t. Probability of no arrivals in our Poisson process is x, x of t is equal to 0 and we know that this is um, e to the minus lambda t. From our last video segment we had to use that probability as well. So that's the probability that t1 is greater than little t. The probability of the numerator is also going to be an e to the minus lambda except that instead of the dummy variable being t it's t plus delta. So I'm going to plug in t plus delta up top. I'm going to look at the numerator. It's exactly what I found. So this is e to the minus lambda t times e to the minus lambda delta divided by e to the minus lambda delta minus lambda t. These two are going to cancel out, and I'm going to be left with e to the minus lambda delta. Well, um, if I want to know what's the probability that uh, that t1 is less than t plus delta, given that t1 is greater than little t. This is just 1 minus that probability that I just found. That probability that I just found is e to the minus lambda delta. So this is really the CDF of delta. So I could define this as the CDF of delta. And if I want the PDF of delta, I can do the same thing. I'm, I should probably write here that it's conditioned on t1 being greater than t, but either way, I'm going to take the derivative of this with respect to delta. I'm going to get lambda e to the minus lambda delta, because uh, I'm taking the derivative with respect to delta, the minus lambda is going to come down. And this is for lambda, or sorry, delta. Um, delta greater than zero, 
and zero otherwise. This is exactly the exponential PDF. So what have I learned by waiting until time t to know that there are no arrivals in time zero to time t? I haven't learned anything. The distribution of uh, the, the t1, the additional time to wait until t1, is still going to be exponential with parameter lambda. I haven't uh, gained really any time in that in that waiting process. Okay, so that's the example that we've done before with with uh, bus arrivals. This time we've made it more explicit as a Poisson process, but in the end we have the same thing happening.